Hi guys, Joel Harvey here again for my uh, my jet car, uh, my jet motorbike. Um, so yeah, last time I showed you the uh, the console and the the oil pressure and the uh, the starter, which is just here. Let me turn that up and down. All right, and uh, I explained to you that 60 pounds of oil is a good thing. All right, no gravity feed. Do not gravity feed. Okay, you need pressure. Okay, if you want, you, you know, if you if, even if your turbo is unbalanced, oil pressure will help to smooth out the unbalance, so it won't it won't explode. It's dangerous if you don't run oil oil pressure. Okay, first things first. I've got my front wheel to my motorbike. I've built. Excuse the mess around. But, uh, I'm using this room as a bit of a workshop at the moment. So uh, suspension and. Basically, it's the front hub of a mountain bike that fits a rim of a lightweight racing, very strong BMX, and I'm going to run hydraulic disc brake on the front. So, a bit of suspension. It's going to be a uh, what they call a, a hard tail with a hard front end. So, I'm going to base it around this. Now, off the same mountain bike, we got this one. Yay! Okay, so normally, normally it sits like that. Uh, no, it doesn't. Normally it sits like that on the mountain bike. And you've got the suspension and so forth. Well, I'm going to turn it up the other way and use it for my hardtail. And I'm going to base the frame. Okay, so, well, alrighty. Let's go back a bit. Okay, so you've got a bit of an idea there. And, oh, I don't know, well... Uh, just, just use your imagination. So the forks go at the front there, okay? And that's basically the bike. Um, now, gearbox, gearbox. Oh, I've got some goodies here. I've got some case hardened steel. Here's, here's one of the bearings. One of the, one of the, this is case hardened. This was a power transfer gear off a motorbike. So it's uh, an awesome tooth, awesome gear. I can't remember how many teeth it is, but I did calculate it and over here is my half a turbo. I might just turn that off, it's a bit noisy. There we go. So there's my half a turbo. Um, so basically this tail goes on the outside with the turbine. Now if you look at the snail here, I'll oh, just rearrange a few things quickly. Take the rear end off. Um, and we'll have a look at the size of the different different sides of the turbines. So if you look at the size of that, if you can see it very well, it's not very it's a bit dark here at the moment, but you get an idea of the size of the, the ratio, the air ratio. This is probably about a four or a five to one air ratio between the two. So this will sit up, it's a heavy sucker. It'll sit up in there like that. Okay. Sorry. Ah, that was about to hit my feet, so I I had to uh, jump out of the way. It was close. I had to hit my feet before it hurt. So, yeah, that'll give you an idea how. Oh, that's heavy. How compact it is. Just, oh fuck. Okay. Um. Awesome. Basically, what what'll happen? I've worked out the gears and stuff. This here. Well. Right. This is for Jet A1 as well. If you if you're around Jet A1. Um. Jet A1 Terminator, great channel, subscribe to him, he's got some awesome jet stuff. That's Jet A1 Terminator. Um, now, this gear is going to be mounted somewhere around there with another smaller gear on there. Now, I've decided to put a ball bearing there so it'll take some of the lateral forces because they are slip bearings on the inside. So, it'll move around a little bit on that end, but not this end. So, I want a little bit of a little bit of flex. So I haven't got the other gear with me at the moment, but the other gear will be placed in there. This will sit up against it. It's about a five or a six to one. I think it's actually a bit more, oh, about a four or five to one. And then it'll go back to like a, a go-kart cog. Oh, okay, there we go. So what I have planned, I've got to be very careful with this. They're expensive little suckers if you drop them. So you've got the gear coming out here, probably have to build on a, another piece 
to extend this so I'll probably actually weld it or have it sort of bolts and seals and then there'll be a hole a hole through the side here the shaft come out and it'll go down to like a 10 tooth and then it'll get come back to a go-kart go-kart sprocket so it all runs in the right direction and uh, that's what I've got planned for my turbo shaft um, I don't think I need extremely high pressures probably about the 60 pound again I could probably run a little bit lower because I'm not quite getting the high pressures but because I've got a little bit of lateral forces going on it um, with the gear I think I'll have to run run the 60 pounds so that means I'll just turn up my, my oil pressure oil pressure system now before I did say that I was going to take off the um, take off the bypass however I'm going to leave it on for now until I know all my my um, my pressures and so forth because it seems to I prefer having my 12 volt DC motor turning over a bit so it draws less less ampage okay so um, all right I'm just about out of time thanks for watching and um, please subscribe it's a little button down below um, awesome thank you very much for your time